guys welcome back for another video but first let's start this video off with a prayer and today's prayer is dear god every day that i wake up is another blessing to thank you for you show up for me time after time you prove to me every single day that your love for me is unconditional and i am extremely grateful for that even through all that i fall short of your glory and i question and doubt things <clears throat> i can admit that i struggle with your with fully leaving things in your hands and letting you handle them please forgive me for my stubborn ways show me how to fully leave things to you and trusting that you will work everything out for me allow me to lean on you at all times instead of relying on my own imper imperfect judgment thank you in jesus name i pray amen so i pray that prayer blesses you guys today i am out in the streets today is the day that i just want to go around stores to see what they have for christmas just looking at christmas decor make, puts me in a good mood makes me happy so the first place i started up is kirkland's we're at kirkland's so we're going to go in there and see what they have they sh it looks like they do have their stuff out i'm so excited and the store just opened so Let's go inside and see what they have. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a return subscriber, welcome back. Let's see what they have in these stores. I'm so excited. All right, y'all. So the Christmas decor is out. Let's see what they have. always have great reads. I usually wait till they're on sale. Right now they got 25% off. $7.99 for each and then there's these I know some people DIY these these uh how much is this one it's also $7.99 yes beautiful Like having more of a girly tree this is so cute they even have the decor that goes with along with that which is these right here with this reindeer so cute another red garland I don't see the price for this one but this is the one that I put on my skinny tree in the kitchen It's decorated so pretty so the colors for this like a champagne gold with some browns and like white and gold and bronze like I just took all of the colors I think it's such a pretty tree with touches of navy blue that is so pretty all right friends so I just finished out of Kirkland's they didn't have that much stuff out she said they're still bringing stuff out now they didn't also they didn't have anything on sale really now if you order online they have a 30% off coupon and then you can pick up in store if you did that but I'm headed to Target now, which is down the street from Kirkland's. <laughs> but they have some beautiful stuff in there. I like the way they decorated that tree. 
thought that was very beautiful. I thought that was very beautiful. But she said she's going to start bringing some more stuff out. Does she have everything out by next week? So I might come back. I prefer to get it when it's on sale. They have some sort of sale going on. I do not like to pay full price for that kind of stuff. Always a sale or something like that. If I know that it goes on sale. Um, that's what I would do. So I'm going to go to Target. The Hearth and Hand line is supposed to have came out today. I don't know if the Studio McGee one came out. So all I could do is just check. Last time I came here with Destiny, they didn't have, like, even the Target Dollar Spot didn't have their Christmas stuff out or anything like that. My, I noticed that my Target usually moves a little slower. So there's that. And then most places. But it doesn't go, it hurt to go in there to look. Plus, I get to see if they have the, that's all right. I get to see if they have the um, up and up disinfecting wipes. Because last time I came here, they didn't have it. I'm going to see if they have it here now oh that's a school bus one of my friends kids on the field trip here at target she put it on there i'm gonna see if i see her, her little boy and he, they, they were, he was so happy to go to target <laughs> what is it with target and kids my kid destiny loves target all right y'all so my target is slowly coming out with their christmas stuff they don't have everything out that i've seen on youtube but they have some stuff so i'm pretty sure by next week they should be fully loaded the best linen spray hairspray and body spray i use this on our bed our hair our body like y'all it smells so good so they have different varieties this is the lavender cloud this one smells amazing and then they have the citrus amber this one smells really good too this is this one and that one are my favorites these two smell so good you guys should definitely try it out finished this one this morning on our bed so i gotta grab another one that smells amazing last year around christmas time i got to work with native and they sent me this one the sugar cookie was it that one it smells so good they brought it back for the holidays hold on it smells just the same but they came out with this one which is called holiday gumdrop so let me see what that smells like let me see I see my I see my friends um, little boy. They have a little filter. They're teaching them all about the store. This smells really good. <laughs> He's here. Um, I'm gonna get one for me and one for Destiny. But hold on, let me smell this cotton lily. I've never smelled this one before. It smells good. I'm gonna get two. One for me, one for her. Just whatever I get for myself, I gotta get for Destiny too. So cute. I used to, I used to, in the nursery at church, I used to change his diapers and stuff, and now he's in kindergarten, so to see him walking around is so, so cute. So I came to look for the up and up disinfecting wipes because those are my favorite, and they don't have any but the small ones, and I don't want the small ones. Checked online, they're also sold out, so. I think people figured it out. Found some Christmas decor. They didn't have any of it, nothing like this for when my daughter and I came here. Look at this plate, so cute. A snowflake. I like it. I don't know, I eat from the smaller plates. So I wanted to get myself some for Christmas. I wanted to see what these look like, but they're covered, so I can't really tell. That's a four pack. But I really like these. This is a snowflake. So yeah, they don't have the Christmas stuff out yet. Not at my Target. So I'm going to have to come back. I'm going to give them another week. <laughs> they don't have the stuff here. So I just got out of Target. I'm putting the Hobby Lobby address just so I don't miss the light. Um, it's across the street. I don't want to miss the light. Starting Sometimes route I do to that. Hobby Lobby. You, you know how Proceed you... Proceed to the route. You know where you're going, but you, st you still use a GPS. I do that all the time. I also parked at the end of the parking lot because um, I like to get my steps in. So I'm always at the end and hoping that nobody parks near me. But people still do it anyway. I saw uh, my friend's son in there. They were taking a group picture and I sent her some pictures because she wished she was here for the field trip. But I saw in him a in there. Mile, turn, in a quarter mile, turn left into the parking lot. They were basically at Target to learn about business and how they sell. So I heard the guy was like, this is where your parents come and get gift cards and 
Um, if it's your birthday, they could probably get you your toy, your favorite toy from here. Things like that is what they were talking about. I thought that was so cute. <laughs> so I'm he I'm headed to Hobby Lobby now. Hob um, Target didn't really have their stuff out yet, but we did just go through a hurricane, so a lot of the shipment and stuff is kind of slow. So I'm gonna check again next week just to see what they have. I don't normally get everything from their line because I don't like to do that. I don't like everything. One and two. Uh, please, sir, do not cross the street. Oh my lord, he crossed the street right in front of me. Um. What was I gonna say? Do I go straight? Do, do I turn? No, I go straight, I guess. So, because of the hurricane, a lot of things are moving a little slower here. They did lose some glass at the front of the target here. So there's that. Um, and the, sometimes the lights go out in there. So same thing happened when I brought Destiny here. I'm gonna check Hobby Lobby to see what they have in there. I don't go there very often because a lot of times some some of the stuff is very repetitive so i don't go there very often but i'm hoping they have some new stuff in there just being out of the house makes me happy and just getting some fresh air and then go back home i got my walk on this morning got my exercise in wasn't able to walk as long because my friend had a doctor's appointment and i just needed to leave the house so um hopefully getting i'm hoping to get another walk in later on today but from what I heard, because of the hurricane, Xfinity, so many people have, don't have internet and they're overcharging people for days that they don't have internet, right? So people don't have internet here. And they, tell me why they vandalized the Xfinity here. They vandalized it, y'all. Crazy. They broke the glass. I guess, I don't know what happened, but it's right there by the Bath and Body Works here. And they vandalized the place. They, um broke the glass and I think they did the same thing to the Bath and Body Works. I'm not sure. Bath and Body Works here is not open. They Turn did not left into the parking lot. They, they did not uh open yet here. And I'm hoping they didn't vandalize the Bath and Body Works, but they did not reopen yet. We have two Bath and Body Works here, one here by the Hobby Lobby and the other one's in the, the mall. parking lot for your destination. So there's that. So the Bath and Body Works was not able to open again. Some things are just not back to normal. Hobby Lobby. I love being in there. It smells so good. What happened? Oh, they're doing the parking lot. Can we go in there though? Is it open? Oh my Lord. Is it open? It looks like it is. It's just, oh. I'm about to park at the back, which I do anyway. Oh, someone's pulling out. I'm gonna park at the back. I think they just redid the parking lot, but I see people going in there, so that's good. I'm gonna park at the back anyway. Arrived. They just redid the parking lot. This whole section is covered, um, roped up. I think now is the perfect time for me to get some plates for Thanksgiving, some napkins and things like that. So, let me see, I really like this one. I get like two packs and something different for the second one. Let me see. I'll do this one and I'm definitely getting the smaller plates. Not just for dessert, but also for me because I don't need no big plate. Um, I'll do the smaller one of this one. Great bowl. And I also like this one too. No, I could do this one. I also see some tablecloth. I know I came here for Christmas, but since I'm here, so I can set up the table for Thanksgiving. I don't know what we're doing yet because from what it looks like, it's just going to be us for Thanksgiving this year. I think that John and I do for the kids, we every year we let them come here and pick out their own ornaments. So they get to pick out a new ornament. So when they become adults, they get to take those ornaments with them. Oh, look at this. This one says boy band. So we'll bring the kids here to pick out an ornament. This one says heavy metal. This one is so cute. This one is like kind of like a charcuterie board. It is a charcuterie board. And then this one says cheeseburger. Stuff like this is like kids like they have hot dogs so pretty much you can find any kind of ornament here love the Grinch they have all the Grinch 
themed things here. So if you do the Grinch for Christmas, they have all the pillows and all the decorations. So all of the Christmas decorations is 50% off. They also have them on Amazon, so I want to compare price compare this time. I'm gonna I'm gonna be making a bunch of Christmas cookies, and all of my friends are always asking me for cookies. So I want to when I give them cookies, I want to give them in like a little nice box like this with uh, Christmas tissue paper, I'm like this as well. I'm gonna be coming back, and I'm gonna get everything today. But they also come in like in a tin if you're making a bunch of them at a time. These are so cute. They have the gingerbread now and the Christmas tree ones. I don't know if they had this last year, but. They, I definitely love this one. All right, y'all, so I'm back home now. I also went to Hobby Lobby to look for some stems. My Hobby Lobby didn't have any Christmas stems, none. And I did ask as to why, and it told me a lot of the shipment, like they were closed for a long time during the hurricane that a lot of their stuff is still packed up. So they're just unloading some stuff now. But I went ahead and put everything away. I'm gonna do a separate video of the Christmas decor that I have, because I get little bits of here and there. Not too much, but then I like to put it together and then I'm going to show you guys what I got so far. Um, but I do, I did get from Target their Holiday Gumdrop from Native. We love some good smelling body wash. Now, Dove is my favorite, but I do like the seasonal stuff. I smelled one from Dove that, that was like cinnamon roll, pumpkin something. I smell, I didn't like it. I mean, it smelled like super sweet. I almost got nauseous smelling it. I don't know. But this one smells really good. The Holiday Gumdrop. So I got one for myself and one for Destiny. Because whatever I want, she wants. And she loves all the smell goods and all the things. So I'm here for it. Uh, and then I got the Frenchie, the one that I just finished literally this morning on my bed. And I spray my hair, my body, the sheets. And it smells really good when you get in there. And then I was out also of some OxyClean. So I had to get some more. I was waiting for Costco or Sam's Club to have it on sale. But... Uh, didn't have that now i did get these little small plates from this these are the thresholds from target they were the three dollars a piece these have i don't know if you can see it but they have snowflakes and i like stuff like this for myself because like now that i eat off of like small plates and small little bowls i love stuff like this might as well be cute so i got that for me i'm gonna, wash, I'm gonna put them away but that's what I got going on. So I got a few minutes before I go, got to go pick the kids up from school. And then, but before that, I'm going to eat some lunch because I'm hungry. So we're back home now. Um, I picked the kids up from school and now we're just pretty much warming up dinner. I don't have to cook tonight. It's my favorite type of night. If you watched the last video, you want to say, hey, Destiny? Hi. Uh, if you watched the last video, you saw that I made some lasagna soup and I made a double batch. So that is what we're having for dinner tonight. I literally just put the whole container, not the whole container, the whole pot in the refrigerator. And that is what's for dinner tonight. Luckily, tomorrow is Friday. I think tomorrow we'll do some pizza or something like that. It'll be pizza. Well, it'll be pizza night. 
I think John and I are going on a date tomorrow. We'll see. And no kids. No kids. <laughs> yep. So tonight I'm going to wash my hair because the weekend's getting ready to get started. So I'll just go ahead and wash my hair. I've been kind of just um, with a hat on because I've been going outside for a walk. So my hair hasn't been lasting that long. But y'all know it with a whole lawsuit going on with my L. So let me show you guys because y'all always ask me what I use to do my twists. Please hold. Okay, so you guys always ask me what I use for my hair. I did have some uh, some hair loss after my bariatric surgery. I lost a lot. It ain't the same no more. It's a little thinner. But it still looks full. Like to the point that sometimes people ask me, is that like a hair piece? And it's not. It's my hair. But when I wash my hair, I use the Design Essentials. This is the almond and avocado. I love, love this shampoo. It is so good. I love it. I'm almost finished. John said he was gonna order me some more from Amazon, but this is my favorite shampoo. Works so, so good. It makes my hair very soft and moisturized. And then I use Tresemme as my conditioner. It works really well to detangle my hair, who knew? But this is my deep conditioner, and I detangle my hair with this as well. And I've been using this lady, which is the silicone mix. You can find this at the hair store. You can also find this on Amazon. This is a big container from Amazon. And I always get the big container because between Destiny and I, because I use it on both of our hairs, we go through this pretty fast. Yeah. They have this one, and they have the bamboo one. It's Dominican... Um, Deep conditioner and we love it for our hair keeps it very moisturized and stuff but to twist normally I use the um, my L twisting souffle and it's been working pretty good but with the whole lawsuit with people losing hair and stuff and shedding I've been shedding a lot but I'm assuming it's because I had surgery I don't know it makes me feel some type of way I'm like am I supposed to be changing what I'm using this is what I normally use for my hair so just to try it out I went online to so I found the pattern pattern is a small bottle for $28 it's by Tracy Ellers Ross and I want to get it so if you guys have tried it and you know for sure this works well for your hair let me know and what kind of hair do you have do you have like 4c hair I have like 4b 4c hair I have like different textures they're not just straight one pattern you know but this one is Design Essentials, the same brand as the other one. But this one's uh, African Shebe Growth uh, Collection Braid and Twist Out. I've never used this before. Never have. And it's for twisting your hair and braid outs and stuff. So I'm going to try it today because I'm going to wash my hair. And I'm what I do is I get under the hair dryer to let it dry. But I've been twisting my hair with nice big chunky twists because I don't have time to do a bunch of small ones. Um, so yeah. I've never used this one before either, so let me know in the comments if you guys have tried that one before. Because I would like to know. I'm very curious. So yeah, I'll be working on my hair just to wash it. Because I noticed the longer I go with my hair not washed, the drier it is and the harder it is to detangle. While uh, if I go just wash my hair once a week, be on top of it, it's nicely moisturized and it doesn't give me that much trouble to detangle my hair. So that's what I'm going to be doing. All right, y'all, so I just finished taking a shower, washing my hair. I pretty much got my my hair down to 15 minutes. If I don't wait too long to wash it, I can pretty much wash it, wash it between 15 to 20 minutes. Using this on my skin right now to moisturize. Then I'm going outside. I use the one with, that has SPF in it. But it takes me about 15, 20 minutes to wash my hair. Now, if it's really tangly, it takes me about 25 to 30. Now I will say losing some hair made it slightly more manageable for me because I had a lot, a lot, and it would take me a lot longer to do my hair. But because I had so much of it, it's made it slightly more manageable for me to manage my hair. Um, so it takes me not as long. And then when I don't feel like spending too much time with twisting my hair, I make them nice and thick. Now the smaller the twist, the less time it takes for you to I mean, the smaller twist, the clearer your hair will look. But one thing that, that I do when I twist my hair is usually I put a perm rod at the end. I just like how the curled ends look when I do that. The best, the unbrush, 
detangling brush, the best. This thing can go play. I use it for both me and Destiny, and I ordered mine from the TikTok shop, but they have it all at Target. So I'm on my last twist right now, thank the Lord. And guess what? I am loving this cream. The slip on this is very, I have never used a twist out cream, but normally they're pretty thick. And this one, the slip on it is so good. It's like, I feel like I'm putting conditioner on my hair. I hope that makes sense. So the slip is really good. And it's just so easy. Normally I have to work a little harder. I am more than due for a, a cut. But so far, I was actually on the phone. It took me, so far it's taken me 15 minutes to twist my hair. I made them slightly bigger. But I was on the phone with my sister-in-law, Margarita, to see how she was doing. She said so far she's doing pretty good, healing well. And uh, Thanksgiving, we still don't know yet what we're planning on doing. I was planning... She's, she's most likely spending it over there in Virginia, but I told her if she wants to vlog and we could do like a double vlog all inside of one, like, you know how they come to visit and you see their, 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 their the videos of them traveling here or vice versa, uh, they, they send it to me. We could do something like that with their Thanksgiving and ours, but I, I also, if it's just us for Thanksgiving, I was thinking of making it more of a non-traditional, whoops, non-traditional food Thanksgiving. I don't want thanksgiving food maybe because that's i don't know i'm still think i'm thinking of making it more um latin style with arroz con gandules which is rice with pigeon peas pernil maybe a little ham or something like that we'll see i'm gonna be coming up with a plan soon so i'll talk to my sister along by next week she, she says she'll let me know but that is the plan of making it more of a non-traditional uh thanksgiving and then the desserts still be like the same, like pound cake, sweet potato pie. That's something, you know, if you've been here for a while, you know, that's something John does. But it's a recipe that I want to try that we'll be making as well. Oh, came out really good. I like it. I like it. The slip was really good. It's a sweet potato. John makes sweet potato pie every year. He makes about 20. And he freezes them. He takes them to co-workers. He gives them away. Um, and he makes it just like one time so he, we can have it also for Christmas as well So he'll do like a big amount of sweet potato pie and they will have it for Thanksgiving Christmas. He also gives it to people so um, There's that so I do want to make a sweet potato pie recipe this weekend is this sweet potato Sweet potato pie recipe that went viral and I was gonna make it last year I never got to it, but I will be making it this weekend Like a trial run and bringing it to small group Hold on, y'all bringing it to small group it's a sweet potato pie cheesecake and i heard it's amazing it went viral it did really well and everyone in the comments said it was the bomb and people were asking for more so most likely i'll be making it i am going to make it this weekend and i will share the recipe with you guys so you can go on the website and make it yourself if you want to try it out uh, i will be testing out some recipes soon and coming up with a menu and of course i will share that with you guys i'm getting ready to go under the hair dryer and dry my hair and then i'm going to edit this video so i hope you all enjoyed it thank you for hanging out with me today out thank you for coming with me shopping looking around to see what they have in store walmart came out with all their christmas stuff so i can't wait to share that with you guys in a future video and i will see you guys on the next one bye y'all